right here in the middle of Royal Oak, Michigan. A furniture store called Bright Ideas knows how it is to benefit from the Michigan Film Incentive. And here is what they had to say. Um, it, you know, it's affected us in a positive way, and I know other people have been affected in a positive way. So with the incentives, um, probably uh, somewhere around maybe 25, 30,000. So for a company our size, it's, it's a nice incentive for us. And just like any new program, the Michigan Film Incentive didn't start that strong. In fact, since the, the film uh, incentives started, uh, I can't say there was a, a great push in the beginning. Uh, once we got uh, things rolling, once some of the films started to come into town, Bright Ideas was a source, along with uh, a few other furniture stores I know in the area. Run and owned by the same family for over 36 years, Bright Ideas was not always a thought of source for transitional and contemporary props for filmmakers. Uh, Harold and Kumar was, uh, was one of the films, uh, Scream 4 was one of the films. Um, I know Right Angle Production, I think Woodbridge Production was in here, uh, Radical Media out of New York. You know, I think those were the most recent films that we did some, uh, some rental to, and then also some purchases as well. Most production companies are going to rent uh, when it comes to furniture. On the accessory side of it, that's where they're, they're doing the purchases because here again they can use it over and over. It is proposed by the new Michigan governor that the film incentive should be capped so Michigan can gain more of a profit, but that's not how George sees it. I know there's opposition with the film incentives and um, you know you can probably see both sides to it if you don't understand what's going on. But when you, when you factor in people like us who are making money from it and you know getting us through difficult times, and it has helped, uh, then I'd say you know uh, you got to take a look at those uh, factors as well because there are people that you know, in the community that are benefiting from it. From our point of view, um, I think incentives need to stay. It is estimated that the average amount of film spent is thirty thousand dollars in retail alone. The films that do come in must purchase their items in Michigan and spend over $50,000 to gain the film incentive. Although some films do not always get the 42%, as some would think, films do get 40% in non-core communities. The film incentive is only in its third year and has already made a grand total of $600 million into the pockets of Michiganders. For every $1 spent, a total of $6 goes right back into the Michigan economy. It's been good for Bright Ideas. I know it's a good thing for a lot of businesses in um, you know, many communities in the state. It's not just in the metro region. So uh, those are the things that we have to take a look at, uh, as well as the other costs associated with it.